day there again. Um, I thought I'd take the opportunity just to have a chat with Rick Lees, who's PPS's, my builder's construction manager. Um, he's been, been around for a long time, lots of experience, and we've got an issue here on site, which if we point over here, you'll see a manhole down here, right there. That is a manhole to, um, which is a stormwater manhole, and at the time there was a new manhole required, which we're aware of. But on any site, as Rick would know probably better than all of us um, due to his number of years in the industry, there's all sorts of factors which um, inhibit or restrict movement on site. There's services under the ground, there's lots of services on, on this site. And sometimes you make the best decision you can at the time based on all those other criteria. Um, and yet we've been caught out here and have to make a change. And I just thought I'd get Rick's quick um, summary of, uh, in some ways, it's quite illogical. It can be very frustrating to comply with a plan that says you've got to do this and this, when in fact there's more common sense and logic uh, for not complying with that because we're not actually compromising any of the intent of those um, requirements. So, Rick, in this example of that manhole down there, um, from a practical point of view, do you think it, that we could have uh, got away leaving it where it is, even though, strictly speaking, it's uh, below the minimum distance from the building? Oh, it's a strong possibility, but it would mean uh, probably submitting an uh, application for relaxation to council. I'm sure we'll get it through, but uh, uh, the time process and cost may not be just worth the effort, so we've decided that we're just going to bite the bullet, pull the old manhole out, move it forward. Yeah. Which will now put that manhole to different levels, different surface level, different IL level to the plan uh, to satisfy the need from the uh, restriction from close to the building. So essentially, what, what occurred was that the manhole was installed at a time when this building uh, wasn't in place, so uh, there was no reference point to see a, the edge of the slab and know how far we had to be off that. And the best decision was made at the time Could to locate it. Correct. We put it into, we were more concerned about levels, which a lot of its job has been about levels, so obviously we put it into the levels provided, simply they don't work, because that simply puts us too close to the building. Uh, so it's all come on stuck for us, unfortunately, but not that big a deal. Not that big a deal, it's, it's a day or, you know, day and a bit to fix, but me, like probably most people in this game, uh, we don't like spending money or wasting money, having to re-spend money when the solution was quite adequate. But sometimes you just got to suck it up. Um, it's not pleasant, but you just do it and keep on moving. So that's been the tale of the day. So thanks anyway, Rick. All right. Thanks, Dave.